2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Champions Invitational. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam, as always, in the booth. Pleasure of being here at Echo Park Golf Club. Rich, what are these players facing as they step up to this first tee? Well, it's a really cool opening tee shot with the city views in the background. However, don't get lulled to sleep because you got to hit a good tee shot to avoid all four bunkers that dot this fairway, both right and left. Second shot slightly uphill to, again, a green that's well protected by bunkers, both right and left. An opening par here is a fantastic score. Can't wait to see how today's play plays out. Time to get to the action. Could not be more perfect. Playing from around 150 yards here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. They've decided to club up. Oh, how good was that? Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. And they'll tap this in for Birdie. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. That tee shot looks pretty good. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. This player's really going after it here, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Frustrating. This putt coming up is for Birdie. Oh, what a stroke. That will work on a roll here with back to back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Here's a look at John Rahm from earlier. I got to say, he is not afraid to go beautiful. Solid putt, that. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Four feet to the cup. This is what they have left for Birdie here. Currently at minus three for the event. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Here we are at Echo Park Golf Club, the fourth hole, and it's a big brute of a par four. 
Off the tee, your eyes look down the left-hand side and see two massive bunkers and obviously the water. So anything right of that is just fine. If you find the fairway, second shot is downhill just a little bit to a long, narrow green that has got bunkers down the right-hand side. Distance control with that second shot is absolutely imperative if they want to have a good look at birdie. Nicely done. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Hey guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the ninth. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. That is outstanding and snatches a birdie as well. That'll help make a big move. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Well, that's well played and a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the four. Gotta like their chances from there. This punt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to four under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. <laughs> nice shot that, that should find the surface. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. A birdie putter waits. Beautiful shot. And that will take him to five under. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. <laughs> That's nicely done. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. Okay, let's get back to the action. Currently minus five. That almost went in the hole. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Trailing by seven after that hole. The par five awaits here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. Lovely effort, that. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Should find the green here. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. Now, a long range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? A chance to get two back on the course here. This one for Eagle.
No, that's too bad. A seven footer right here. Looks good off the blade. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Takes some pride in that one. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. He finds himself currently tied for 12. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. This one is right down the pipe. And he's hit that inside the range. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Ouch, that hurts. That's disappointing. This is a par putt. And that putt will drop. Well done. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Time now to begin the ninth hole, Rich. Luke, that's a stonking drive. And how about this highlight recently at the 14th? He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Well, there's a scorecard saver, Rich. That's perfection. Sitting at minus seven. And the top ten is visible from this spot. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Just needs this one to kick right. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And this part to move into the top ten. It's got a chance. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And he dances his way to the top ten after that delightful shot. He's currently sharing eighth position. We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The tenth. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 15th. That's one of those putts that you're proud of at the end of a round. They all add up, and that will take him to eight under. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Going with the five wood. That was special. This putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. For Eagle. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot.
He's currently sitting in fifth place. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The 11th at Echo Park is a par four stretching at 4.30 from the back tees. Just a slight bit uphill off the tee shot. Find a spot at that far bunker, Luke, that you want to aim at and go ahead and turn it loose. From there, second shot goes over a nice little meandering stream that wanders throughout the golf course to a green clover-like in, in appearance. But I got to say, this is really one of the coolest holes on the golf course. I love it. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Well, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This one's tracking. That's inside the range. Now at 11 under for the day. This hole is a par three. Opting for the 9-iron. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. John Rahm getting ready for his next shot. How close was that to going down? Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Such soft hands. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. I don't mind the look of this. And there it is. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Well, the 13th hole here at Echo Park Golf Club uh, is not as kind. A big hole at 5.04 from the tips. Well, thankfully, it's slightly downhill off the tee. But yes, avoid those bunkers down the right-hand side. And of course, that meandering brook that is a feature of this golf course. Big hitters can actually take it over everything down the right-hand side. But that's for the brave few. Second shot downhill slightly to a massive green. Just some big bunkers on the left-hand side, but plenty of bailout room over to the right. You like that, didn't you? And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. This looks to be heading to the green. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Our coverage continues at the last. Time now for the fourth shot. Very, very good touch there. And that is a bonus birdie, if you say the least. Well done. Nothing like it. Good stuff. Trying to move to 13 deep here with this putt. This one's online. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard.
Let's begin the 14th. That's not the one he wanted. Henny, what does that lie look like? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the first cut. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. Yeah, they really kept the speed up nicely through that bad lie. Always nice to have a birdie putt. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Next up is this par four hole. The shot is looking good here. And he's down there. I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, that was pure. And this part to move into a share of first place. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Currently 15 under par for the event. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one is all over it. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. And a fantastic look upcoming. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm. Is he... Well, isn't that a touch of class? Just when they thought they'd drop a shot, jarring one for par at the last. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Nicely done. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's a bonus. Wow, what can you say? Holding it out from the fairway. Every player loves that feeling. What a shot indeed. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Currently in the lead by a shot. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. This is their look at birdie. 
Punt is underway. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a punt to hold. Leading by a couple after that hole. And now teeing off on the final hole of this round. Well, this should find the short grass. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Going with the hybrid. Oh, that's out to the right for sure. And here we are with the third shot. Currently leading by two. Oh, I thought that one was going in. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Get excited. This could go in. And that signs off on today's round.